The INL says the crisis is over after workers were exposed to plutonium yesterday. Good evening and thanks for watching tonight. I'm Todd Blackington. The investigation into an Idaho National Laboratory accident that happened yesterday continues. Our reporter Sasha Zimmerman was at a news conference today in response to that incident. She joins us from our Idaho Falls newsroom with more tonight. Sasha. Todd, 16 INL employees have gotten back their medical evaluations after a radiological contamination accident at an INL site. Employees at the Idaho National Laboratory are known for their ability to handle advanced materials like nuclear fuels. But sometimes, even the very best, have to anticipate the very worst. Tuesday between 11 a.m. and 1 p.m., a container was opened inside the Zero Power Physics Reactor Building, and employees were exposed to a high level of plutonium, which is a heavy metal. But we believe that there was a breach in that cladding which allowed the radioactive material to be released. Uh, I want to assure you that we take this, uh, this event very seriously. Uh, we take all of the work that we do seriously, and most importantly, the safety of the workers. And we didn't do that well yesterday. Uh, the investigation is ongoing, and it will focus on understanding the causes uh, and, and uh, the corrective actions to make sure this doesn't happen again. This plutonium can lead to damaged body cells, Doctors at the INL have been working closely with the employees exposed to the plutonium. And we offered precautionary treatment to all of them. And then after the lung scans were completed yesterday, they were all allowed to go home. Now, three of them have come back today for further lung scans based on results of what we saw yesterday on the initial lung scans. After a second round of testing, only one tested positive for internal plutonium. INL staff says that they're treating this as an accident and the investigation is ongoing. All the employees that were present at the accident were wearing protective equipment. Todd, back to you. All right, Sasha Zimmerman reporting. Sasha, thank you very much.